Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday. And tonight, or to, well, it's evening for me. I generally don't work in the evening. I usually work and film in the mornings, but the schedule's been a little bit zooey today and the past couple of days, actually. So I am filming in the evenings. So the light is a little different. I think we'll be okay. I am working on, let me move this over to here. I am working on my, I don't know what to do. I guess it's shabby chic. Some people have been calling it. I tend to call it uh, like a Regency or Victorian, just lacy fancy. I'm working on a lacy fancy journal and I need some cards to go in it. And I thought, well, you know, why don't you just turn your camera on while you're working and maybe somebody would like to craft along with you. So if you are enjoying these videos, um, I'm going to actually go through my spiel early. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But my spiel. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. Click the bell for notifications if you want to know when the next video comes out. And I'm going to add in, please leave a comment below. All right, now, why am I giving you that spiel this early in a video? Because I need to get my watch hours up. I've talked about this in the past couple of videos. Um, YouTube takes a look at the number of hours that your videos have been watched in a 365 day period, but it's a moving 365 days. So as tomorrow dawns, the last day on the calendar drops off and so you have a new set of 365 days. The reason I'm harping on it is that because within a couple of weeks here, I had a video last year that went... Uh, amazingly well. Uh, I, YouTube for The YouTube algorithm smiled on me and put me up on close to 10,000 homepages. People watched it. I had over 4,000 views on that particular video, which means my watch hours shot up and it was wonderful. Problem is, as we approach that date, those watch hours are going to drop off and my I need 3,000 total in that 365 day period in order to move to the next level of YouTube. I already have enough subscribers. I have to have 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours in order to be able to offer you things like memberships and special, there's some special videos and things like that. I can't do any of the special things until I have 3,000 watch hours. So I am imploring you to l watch the videos all the way through or put them on in the background or, you know, go do your laundry and put one on. I don't care. But in any case, I'm trying to get those watch hours up. So that all said, let's craft. That's what we're here for, right? So grab your scraps or grab whatever you've got that you're working on and craft right along with me. What I've done is I had a couple of these extra journal cards left over that from some scrap. I went through my scrap box because it's starting to overflow on me again. And then I colored them in and I think what were the colors I used? I used uh, fossilized amber. I used um, antique linen and another one whose name escapes me. Uh, but I use those to kind of color in my cards a little bit to go in with the yellowness of my piece here. And you can see I used one of those clusters that I made the other day on that one. And actually these cards will fit perfectly. There's a tuck here and a tuck here. And you, I don't think I'm even on camera. A tuck here and a tuck here. So these cards will fit perfectly in there, but I just have to do something. I have to dress them up. What I can tell you is that in the meantime, I don't, I have, um, here, let me grab a piece of this. I, I, I have a strip here is what I started to say. I really shouldn't try to make these videos at night. I am just not as with it at night as I am in the morning. And so I shouldn't probably try to make videos in the evening. But, sorry, this is what you get today. There we go. Get that top off of there. Okay. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it like this. 
over some of that white space. So now you can't, it doesn't draw attention to the white space, it draws attention to the tag. And then let's get you, uh, that belongs to a different one. This is vintage photo. So I'm just using a little vintage photo along here. So I probably should brag on my husband. By the time you're watching this on Friday morning, um, Friday evening and all this weekend at the Rochester Fringe Festival in Rochester, New York, my husband has a show going up. He's a playwright and he has a short piece going up. It's called Train to Train and it will be performed. Um, and in fact, if you hear any kind of odd noises, they are actually in rehearsal for it right now. Downstairs in my house. Hang on, I got to get a new glue stick. It's a two-person play with Joanne Saracino and Glenn Wyant playing the two parts. And I think it's a very well-written play. Uh, it's one of... He's written several now, um, and one of them has been translated into Polish and should be going up for a Polish tour soon. It's called Women of a Certain Age. I don't know what it's called in Polish. I don't, I'm afraid they don't speak Polish, so I don't really know how it's performed there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I bought, got these out. Now I don't know if I like them. Um... Okay, let's find a little flower or something to go up there. Um, that is great big yellow flower. I think before I do that, let me set that there a minute, and I'm going to grab just a little bit of something to go on the... Something to go here. Let me grab just a little bit here. Just a little something to give a little bit of different color to it. There we go. Just throw a little background color in there. So that when we put this down, it's not so obnoxiously colored. And then we're going to, of course, vintage photo around the outside. All the way around. And that finishes off a new card. So that'll be one card for that piece and we'll we'll sh we'll take a look at them in a minute. Let me finish another card here. Okay, put that there. Put my top on sort of kind of. I don't want you or I do want you. Do I want you instead? Come here. What if I want you and you? See, the problem is I have two two white spots. And I can just cover it over like that. That's not much of a contrast. So let me try this. Sorry for the reach again. I know. Get your arm out of there. Come on, Dupre. These are the same, but they're in a different color. So these are in more of a neutral. There we go. There we go. We found it. Always nice when you finally find the right one. So we'll put that, that there. I'm just worried that my other piece is going to get lost. You think that'll be okay? And then that becomes, that, that'll be it. It doesn't need anything else. Might be a little bit too orangey for the journal, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll just, we'll go with it and see what we've got. I think I'm on camera over here on the on the glue book. 
I did do an entire video on the differences between when I say glue book and other people say glue book, they don't always mean the same thing. We sometimes are referring to different pieces and I did a whole video on all these different terms that we tend to use. Sorry. <sighs> That's a neighbor and he is, just loves his motorcycle. Bright, nice and loud motorcycle. Okay, let's do this on here. I'm going to actually kind of go in there a little bit. Because I had a little bit of a white spot. It's a little white down there. We'll just cover it over. And there we go. So now, in that spot in the journal, let me find it. Where'd it go? I don't know where it is. There it is. I can have one here. Is it too orangey? And one here. So I have two little spots. Yeah, see, I, I, you can see it. I, I am not sewn in yet. Um, I'm still deciding where I want to put pockets, but I think we'll leave that for as that for done. And then let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, turning my camera back on because I'm making some decisions, making some uh, changes. And so I have to get in here with my glue and um, that goes over here to kind of cover up that part there. And then this is just a little bit of, I think I just did this on the wrong side. Well, it's going to go this way now. Okay. Hang that out. Let, let go, let go, let go. Okay, what I've been, I learned this trick from Gail about using a spatula. And so this is a very old, yucky spatula to pat that down instead of your fingers because you got glue on your fingers and then you end up picking it up and it's not helpful. I also found this little piece of ribbon and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. This is Fabri-Tac along the edge. And then I'm going to stick my ribbon to it. And that helps so that you can see that it's more yellowy. And then I have this piece on here. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll do it here in camera. I'm going to just take my, this, that's just whatever's left on there. And I just kind of took the whiteness out of it. I might do that with that one as well and put this right there. So now it has a little more yellowy to it so that it's not quite so orangey. Okay, so that one is definitely done. This one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come over it with the, this is, uh, what is this called? Vintage photo, this is vintage photo. There, that looks a whole lot better. And I'm going to do this to this one. These are tiny, tiny little marks. And I'll show you why when I get that one finished. You see how it, it is angled down here? I'm gonna angle the edges so that they're, it matches. I, you know, you put, you finish something, you look at it, you set it aside, you come back to it, you say, you know what, that's not done. That still needs a little bit of work. We aren't done yet. So this is an old card. These, I don't, does Sears exist anywhere in this country anymore? I miss Sears. I miss it a lot. I obviously used to do a lot of my shopping at Sears. I think most of my kids' clothes came from Sears. Heck, most of my clothes came from Sears. There we go. I like that. See, this one has the squared edges, but this one has those kind of beveled edges. So 
we'll go ahead and put them back in their spot in here. I think they look a little bit better. Okay, so they're, they're set. Um, this one I have started, and I wanted to add a little bit of lace to it, but do I have much in the way of lace? I don't... I was thinking, like, a little piece of lace across the top. And I thought I had another piece of lace over here, but I don't... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. If I put that up there, it's kind of... If I put it this way, it might... I think I need to get the iron out and just iron it down. What the heck, we'll just put it in just like it is. So I hope you're having a good time. Um, like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave me a comment. YouTube likes those comments. So go ahead and leave me comments. If you think I should have done something different, or if you, you, know, you look at it and you go, what the heck are you doing? Let me know. Obviously, I didn't use either one of these. They're too modern, I think, for this particular piece. So we're going to set those aside. We're not going to use those. I don't know if I like that or not, but what the heck. It's done. I'm going to call it done, and I am meaning it this time. I really am going to call it done. All right. So if, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them, and make sure you leave a comment below. And click the bell for notifications when the next bell, next piece comes out. And that's it for today. This is Cindy signing off. <laughs>